Hi, it's Jeff at MacroMonster.com. I want to show you how to use the Shelby Auto Size Macro. So let's say you've got a quick little logo here for a company, Joe's Lawn Care. And you want to, to size it so it fits on the side of a vehicle, for example. Let's say you've taken a photo of the vehicle and it's something like this. You want to take it from the side the best you can. And let's say when you're out taking that photo, you, take, you took some measurements of some certain points on the vehicle. What I usually do is look for hard points like where this uh, fender meets the rest of the body there and there. And let's say that uh, usually what I'll do is I'll take a photo of the vehicle, uh, print it off, then go out to the vehicle itself and then draw on top of the photo. And so let's say I've, I'm taking the measurements of the vehicle and I write down on a piece of paper that this is four feet long, that one line. Okay. And so then what would happen is I go back into the shop Knowing that this is supposed, to, in real world terms, that distance is four feet, I will select the line, shift select the bitmap, and then run the macro. And I would type in, okay, it's supposed to be four inches. Type in, not four inches, 48 inches in this case. Let's say I know it's uh, four feet, which is 48 inches. Hit apply. And it's now scaled up the distance, uh, the, the whole bitmap, so that it'll be four feet between those two points. And to confirm that, I could draw out a little new uh, line there, and you can see that it's it's basically 40. If I was to stretch it out a little bit, it's uh, it's rated for four feet. So, why that's useful is uh, in certain types of industries, I like to work on things at actual size because then all I have to do, if I want to do vinyl cutting, is literally um, scale up my the size of my artwork inside Grill Draw. Put it in position, something like that. Let's say I'm happy with how that looks. Let's say the client likes the scaling of how it looks into that space. Uh, I would take this and just send it to the vinyl cutter, and then it's going to be good. So let's say we've got a similar idea, but we now we've got a panel van. I just took in a clip. Let's say this is the photo of the van. Uh, let's say I went out and measured the vehicle. And I want, I put this over from here to here. We can see we've got a slight angle, which is fine. Now, I don't know what that would be in real world terms. I'm going to say mm, 10 feet from the tip of that tail light up to the door, 10 feet. So I'd write on there 10 feet with a pencil. And, and then I'd bring this back into the shop. Now, this is obviously not 10 feet right now. It's only 13 inches. So uh, if I was to, I'm just going to change this to feet here for a moment to make my life a little easier. Uh, right now that line is only 1.1 1 1 feet. So what I do is I select the line, shift select the bitmap, run the macro, and it's going to ask me, um, let me see here. Since I'm working in feet mode, I'm going to see if this will work. I'm just going to type 10, and it looks like it might have worked for me. I think it might automatically sense what my uh, document units are, whatever is used in that box. So if I just draw a quick line here, it's uh, 10 feet, so that's fine. Um, so there you go. That's basically how I use it. So I always try and make sure looking at the vehicle right on the side and keeping it level on the page as well. So now, let's say I want to put this over there, scale it up a bit more so it looks better in that space. You could make it a green color, you know, send a picture of this to the client. Maybe he's happy with that. And however it looks at this scale is what a multiple, you know, that's the size it really needs to be put onto the vinyl cutter. So it's about four, uh, four feet by two feet or so. And so when I cut that out on the vinyl cutter and go put it on the vehicle, it should look exactly that scaling relative to the vehicle. Okay, hope that's helpful.